A steel ball is dropped from height h and every time it bounces its velocity reduces and it reduces by a factor of eta. We need to find the cumulative momentum that is given to the table. So you can imagine that suppose the, the collision was completely elastic then that momentum will be infinite because the ball will keep hitting the floor. But here the velocity is reducing. So that momentum which is imparted is reducing with time. So it might come to a finite value. So let's see that. Okay, few things before we do that is, so the let's say the first time it hits the ground, it hits with the velocity V0. V0 is root 2gh. Now it bounces back with velocity V1. So it's the relation between V0 and V1 is eta. So V1 is V0 by eta. So eta is greater than 1, so that's why it has to be in denominator. Now this goes back with velocity V1 and it strikes back again the ground with same velocity V1. And then it jumps back with V2. So relation between V1 and V2 is again given by V2 is V1 by eta. And V1 we can put as V0 by eta. So V2 becomes V0 by eta square. Similarly, V3 will be V0 by eta cube and so on. Now let's talk about momentum. So for cumulative momentum, let's go one by one. So for the first bounce, the momentum imparted is m into V0 vector minus V1 vector. So momentum, this is the change in momentum of the ball and that has been given to the floor. So m into V0 vector minus V1 vector which if we don't write in vector form will be simply m into v0 plus v1. So this is in vector form but in actual in magnitude wise they will be added up. Similarly for second bounce the change in momentum of the ball is m into v1 plus v2 and change in momentum of the ball is the momentum imparted to the ground and so on. So total momentum we will just add for all the bounces. So it will come to be m into v0 plus 2v1 plus 2v2 plus 2v3 like that. So we simplify it and we take v0 out and also v1 and v2 we put these values. So when we do that we get in terms of eta. Now if we take v0 out we get this and because we could do this because 1 by eta is less than 1. So for an infinite series, its sum is finite and it's given by 1 upon 1 minus this factor, which is 1 by eta. So we just solve this and put the value of V naught and get our answer.